ready. Every Captain Rex ever. I finally did it. I finally got them all. Now people can stop asking me to make it. Oh my gosh, it's probably been one of my most requested videos. And I've wanted to make it because I've been so close. And funny enough, um, I just on eBay a few days ago bought one of the last Captain Rexes I needed. And pretty much at the, on the same day I went to the P.O. Box and I got another one of the Captain Rexes I needed. You've probably already seen that P.O. Box video. I got the Articulated Knees Captain Rex from Ethan in, uh, in freaking Philippines, man. Uh, because it wasn't released in the U.S., but it was in the Philippines, I guess. <laughs> so, yes, I can do it. Every Captain Rex ever. Uh, I believe there's 13 Captain Rexes here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, 13. Uh, that, that number definitely kind of shows that, hey, this wasn't just an easy video to make. I don't know if uh, people really knew how many Captain Rexes there have been, because there's been a lot of Captain Rexes. Um, <laughs> I, I remember getting the first Captain Rex back in 2008. Let's just show them. The, uh, the mail-away Captain Rex. Who is, by the way, very horribly yellowed. Because a lot of these 2008 Clone Wars figures, especially the first run of 2008 figures, get yellowed very, very severely. I also treated him in hydrogen peroxide, and it came back way worse. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, it's it's the original Captain Rex, man. I love it so much. Uh, look at that helmet, man. Uh, you can definitely tell one interesting thing about the mail away is that his, his visor is matte black instead of gloss black. You'll see that with some of the other ones. Uh, also, his blue is very, very dark. I'm sure most people are already pretty familiar with this figure by now. Uh, like, he has the DC-17 pistols. He has the, uh, you know, DC-15 DC carbine and rifle, which is really cool. I don't like saying the little letters that come after the DC-15 anymore because they changed it between Legends and Canon which is really confusing and stupid. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's a really good figure, man. Uh, I remember getting this thing and just thinking this this face is just so odd because it was one of the first animated Clone Wars faces they did. And at first I really didn't like it, but it grew on me. At first I was like, yep, he's just going to have the helmet forever. And I remember, man, all the way back in 2008 when this was new, when this was a new thing, I remember thinking, man, this animated style of clones is really interesting. And now I've just, it's been well over, well, not well over, only one year over, 10 years. And I'm just so used to it now. Uh, it looks really great, though. I really do love this figure. It's it's so awesome. It came with this awesome uh, cardboard display base, which uh, I don't have here. I think it's in my closet buried deep. Uh, but I did show it in my Clone Wars toy line video, if you want to check that out. Hey, a little plug to that video. He doesn't like holding his gun, which is very irritating. Um, but we'll uh, we'll run down the articulation on this mold in one of the later figures. We'll we'll wait to show that. Next up, we have the... Oh, don't, don't fall, buddy. Okay. We have the battle damaged version. Here we go. This was uh, one of the original retail versions of Captain Rex. Uh, this was, uh, man, remember, do you remember Midnight Madness for Clone Wars, man? Oh, that was so cool. I didn't even go for the Midnight release because I was too young. But still, you know how great Hasbro was back in the day? I went the morning after, and I still got almost everything I wanted. They still had plenty of clones and plenty of droids and plenty of Legacy Collection. I pretty much got it all besides the Scuba Trooper. I think the Scuba Trooper was the one I wasn't able to get. But anyways, uh, enough nostalgia. Let's talk about nostalgia and uh, <laughs> this Captain Rex. Now, I didn't have this Captain Rex growing up. My brother did, but I didn't. I was pretty happy with my mail away until I ended up getting that brighter blue version we'll talk about next. But yeah, he's pretty much just weathered. He looks really cool. Uh, same face, so I'm not going to show that on every figure, even though you can kind of see uh, the hair is kind of a little different on this one. I don't know, I think ever since I remember the other Captain Rex had that little misprint on the hair. Really nicely painted weapons as well. He also had this launcher where the sh missile shoots. Very fun and exciting, right? Uh, great figure, though. I'm happy I finally got this one. So let's set him there. And then let's show off my personal favorite variant of Captain Rex. Oh my gosh, please stand. It's almost like your gun is super massive or something. Are you going to stand yet, buddy? Oh my gosh. My personal favorite variant of the original 2008 style Captain Rex is the bright blue version. Uh, I remember when I found this guy, I was so happy because I just love the bright blue. It's just so nice and bright and nice and also bright blue. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it just kind of fits more with just blue. 
I mean, now granted, it is brighter. It's probably the brightest Captain Rex here. But that's why I like it. It's really nice. You can see he's in the early stages of yellowing, which is always a treat. But <laughs> don't worry about it, Adam. It's okay. Oh, you can see his back, though, is actually in the later stages of yellowing. Always a treat. Gosh. Oh, I'm just going to stop talking about it. <laughs> There's only one other figure here that's yellowed, so I'll just shut up. But yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, but just brighter blue. One thing I do want to show, though, I do have this carded sample. They kept releasing this figure for years and years after, and I have this carded sample, which is kind of the bright blue version, but they changed, they ever so slightly changed the tone of blue. And I just want to show this. You can see how ever so slight the tone of blue has changed. Um, just showing that, man, there's just been so many slight paint variations with the color that I can't really document them all like that. So we're just going with this, you know? We're just going with the stark, bright, and dark versions, and weathered versions. This guy, though, you may be wondering, what's his story? Um, nice. You're just not gonna have this anymore. Continuing on, this was actually the very last Captain Rex I needed. And you may be wondering, what's the difference with him? Uh, you can see he has some, uh, some white along his blue striping. I mean, it's pretty much just kind of standard Captain Rex. You have the, the helmet that comes off, and hey, it's Captain Rex. But the main difference with this figure is his hand. He came in a two-pack with fives, not Echo for some reason, but his hand has the blood on it. You can see it's on the arm, it's on the hand. His whole hand is blue because it has the blood where he put the bloody handprint on Echo's chest. Basically, the only thing about him, uh, <laughs> this this figure cost me a little over $10, and I don't even think the seller knew about the hand. He was just like, oh, it's Captain Rex. It's just such a minor little thing. I didn't even get him with the weapons either. Uh, I got him with the armor, but not with the weapons. Man, it's, it's just so obscure, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. I just want to make this video. I'm just going to get it done. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Bloody hand Captain Rex. That's what I like calling him. Then next up, we're getting into some uh, actual unique molds. Oh my god, please. Oh, I want to show the articulation on this one. Uh, that's how nice and sporadic my videos are. So the ball jointed head, you know, gets all the range you really want. It works like a dream. Shoulders, they move nice. Elbows move nice. The wrists, you already kind of saw how this one has the in and out. And this one has up and down. Please don't break. Thank you very much. And then, you know, pretty standard articulation for Clone Wars back in the day. I love how Clone Wars pretty much pioneered. Um, it didn't really pioneer, but it made standard the wrist hinges for a lot of figures. And nowadays it is standard. So, hey, thank you, Clone Wars. Even though you're not one of the first to do it. Uh, credit goes to 30th Anniversary Collection Commander Gree for that. But, yeah, there we go. There's him. And then let's talk about the Hunt for Grievous Battle Pack version because he has a new helmet. This helmet, I believe, is a repaint of Commander Wolf's. Um, just because it kind of has the, uh, the 2009 style look to it. Looks a little odd, looks a little goofy, but that's okay. Main difference with him is that he got shot by a droid commando. Uh, that's pretty much his, his main thing. Uh, he got sniped. It's got it on the chest. Look at that. It's really cool. And then he's got it on the pauldron as well. That pauldron saved his life. Um, but then you just take off this, and you're greeted with a new head sculpt. Um... I don't know if it's a new head sculpt, actually, but they definitely changed. Nah, it's new, man. It's definitely a new sculpt. You can definitely see. I don't know if it was first with this Captain Rex or if it was first with another figure because there's just been so many. But I'm going to say uh, it's certainly new, certainly different for this figure, and I really appreciate it. Definitely an improvement. But we'll soon see that they uh, improved the head a lot later down the road. So that's that, Captain Rex. And then, this is my personal, uh, used to be my personal favorite. Um, now I have a new favorite. This is the Arc Trooper Battle Pack Captain Rex. Uh, pretty much the same thing going on um, with, you know, the body and everything. But he also still has that wolf helmet, the newer helmet, and I appreciate that. But the main difference, of course, besides some slight paint variant, is the head. His head is a repaint of Commander Bly's. Um, that's why he actually has some texture to his hair. Uh, so that's really interesting. It's interesting how they repainted Commander Bly's head for this Captain Rex. I appreciate it. I appreciate the difference, and you can definitely see where the... Let's compare it again, that head sculpt. It's really improved. Look at that. Oh, man, they're just getting so good with it. But there is the next one coming up, which is a unique figure. 
completely unique, and also, in my opinion, has the best Rex face. This is the last Phase 1 Rex we got. Uh, he was in one of the in one of the last waves of this uh, Shadows of the Dark Side packaging for Clone Wars, and he came with this jetpack, and he also came with that harness rig. There's a picture of it if you really care. Ugh. 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 Anyways. Yeah, I like that he comes with the jetpack because I believe he used that in the show at some point. And, uh... You can just peg it on there, and it, it works nice. He has cloth. Cloth for his his skirt, which I appreciate. And he still has the blue on the skirt, which is nice. Um, but the thing is, he's kind of a hybrid of the Commander Stone mold and uh, kind of like the Jesse because he's got, he's got the outward of the legs, right? But he doesn't have the knees, and he only has the swivels of the hands and everything, um, which I understand that people don't like this. But me personally, I really do appreciate it. It's really articulated, looks probably the most show accurate out of all the Phase 1 Captain Rexes. And because of that, it's probably one of the more expensive ones. Um, it took me a long time to track this figure down, and honestly, out of all these figures here, I spent the most on him. I think he was like 25 bucks, which for me, for Clone Troopers, is pretty expensive. Uh, but, look at that helmet, right? Really nice helmet. But we got to talk about this head sculpt. That is nice that is a really nice head sculpt in my opinion um comparison to the first one again you can definitely see the improvement uh definitely has more better proportion definitely looks less like a toy and more like a little miniature collectible version even though i'm not gonna lie i still really like the uh arc trooper battle pack head i still like that but it's not i don't feel like it's as show accurate I mean, it captures the essence of the animated clones, but I don't think it's as accurate. You can definitely see the hair color, too. This is a really yellow hair. But yeah, man, love this head. Love this figure. Definitely one of my most recommended ones. Next up, we have Snow Gear Captain Rex, and... We're not going to talk about it. Pretty interesting figure, I gotta say. I really appreciate the design of Snow Gear Captain Rex. Just looks really cool. Uh, some things I don't like about him. Why were his shoulder pads removable? I mean, kids are just going to lose those. Why were those removable? Those didn't need to be removable. Like, why? And why is his helmet removable? You know how many of these things you just see without the helmet? That looks ugly and awful and stupid. Why is that removable? Absolutely no point into making it removable except if you want his head to look like this now. I just don't understand. I mean, I understand the backpack being removable because, I mean, it's a backpack. Those are usually removable. Um, but one thing about this mold is that his hands are so tiny. I've talked about it before. But he just has the tiniest little hands. Uh, <laughs> like here, showing again with the uh, battle-damaged weathered racks. You can just see the size difference in the hands. They're just so tiny, and they don't want to hold accessories well on this guy. Real shame, but still really nice figure. Uh, I've talked about this mold before, but we'll go over articulation again. Pretty standard um, swivel at the wrist. Swivel, swivel, knee bend, hinge, you know, blah, blah, blah. But his neck... Removing the backpacks and get the full range. It's it turns of course, but you also have this really crazy hinge that moves up a little bit, but it moves down a lot. I don't know why, but it does. Um, <laughs> pretty cool figure, man. I like it. I wish we got more repaints. I wish we got a Snow Gear Wolf to go with like that Snow Gear Plo Koon they did. But hey, you know what? We got Rex, a normal trooper, and a flame trooper. I think that's good enough. You can always make a custom wolf out of the, one of those if you want to. So, with that being said, let's move on to the two guys. Let's start off with the very controversial one that started it all. The original 2012 um, Phase 2 Captain Rex. So, when I first saw pictures of this guy, when they first revealed him, I saw that giant helmet of his. Absolutely humongous. Like, another freaking comparison, man. Look at that size of that helmet. It's, it's just so, it's so huge, especially in comparison to the body. I saw that and thought, there's got to be a, a, a freaking, you know, head underneath there, right? I mean, Commander Cody has a removable helmet. Nope, it's just his head. Uh, it is just the head of the figure. There is, there is no, no face underneath. And it's, I, I don't mind that there's no face underneath. What I mind is that the helmet just looks so massive. Why is it so huge, though? Oh, man. He's really weathered, right? He's really, really weathered, and that's kind of cool. And he has little hatch marks that he got in Phase 2. And when I got this guy, I was really excited, even though I knew no knees. No knees. No knee bend. How irritating. How awful. I really understand 
why they ended up making this one. This was released the next year. This is a revision of that Captain Rex. You can see it has has a better paint on the face for sure. Um, has some some kind of different deco choices. No weathering on them really for the most part. Um, but still kind of has like the hatch marks and things and it looks pretty nice. Uh, doesn't have as many hatch marks though, looking at it now. Still has them on the helmet, but I'm not seeing them on the limbs like the uh, the other one. But still, the main thing is that they gave him knees. Why didn't they do this before? All they had to do was take the knees from the normal Phase 2 Trooper and boom, there you go. Why, why didn't they just give him knees? Oh, that's nice. I knocked figures over. But yeah, look at that, man. They just need to give him knees. Big thanks to Ethan for sending me this guy. Uh, really big thanks. Because I've wanted it, right? But the difference is just so minor with the knees that I just never actively looked for it. But hey, uh, as I was seriously just about to kind of buy one, I get one sent to me from a fan. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I uh, love this figure, though, honestly. I've had it on my desk since... Oh my gosh, I knocked him over again. It's because his arm is out. Oh no, don't do it. You know how hard these videos are to make? There's just so many little figures on my desk, and I knock them over all the time, every time, without fail. Uh, you, you, would ha you wouldn't believe how many times I cut it out. But yeah, a really great figure. I didn't really go over the articulation all the way. So pretty decent head range for how big that helmet is. Uh, shoulders, elbows, only... No, he has no wrist articulation. I forgot he, he doesn't have any. That's nice. And then, there you go. Uh, he does have waist, though, which is nice. One thing about this particular Captain Rex, though, I didn't get it with this figure, but he came with this really nice mini gun. Please get him in focus. Oh, my gosh. This video is a nightmare. Ah. Oh. Anyways, there's the mini gun. Um, oh, my gosh. You got out of focus again. I absolutely hate you. Can you, just, can you just stay in focus, please? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. There is the mini gun. Look at it. It's pretty nice looking, isn't it? Wow, that's really nice. I wish I would have gotten it, but that's okay. No biggie. So there is that Captain Rex. And now let's talk about let's talk about this one. Let's skip that one. Let's just make this quick because I'm tired of talking about this thing. It's the it's the realistic 5 POA Saga Legends Captain Rex. Uh, very muted blue. Uh, has some hatch marks. It looks it looks pretty nice. It it was decent for, for my realistic you know 501st collection, but they ended up making a better one that uh, pretty much made this figure obsolete. Uh, I would definitely not recommend this whatsoever, unless you're completionist like me. Avoid this one like the plague, man. Uh, it doesn't even like standing up, uh, despite the fact he has massive clown feet. Uh, he, he just he doesn't like standing. His his articulation's just 5 POA, man. That's no fun. I mean, who? it's awful. I don't know, man. It's just This was from the era of 5 POA where they weren't that good. And look at that. Look at how the pauldron is, like, cut out into the armor. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that so nice? Man, I just almost burped. This video is a complete nightmare. I only have two figures left, thank God. Next up, Black Series Captain Rex. Really solid effort, honestly, really solid. Uh, but like I said, it's from the era where paint wasn't the best. You can see mine's mouth is just ever so slightly lower than the sculpt. A little irritating, but okay. Um, you can see the J guys are a little off center, but it's that's that's nitpicking at this point. Look at that! Look at that paintwork for the uh, soldering for the helmet. That's really nice looking, and the soldering on the torso. It's really nice paintwork. Really beautiful figure, honestly. Uh, definitely, in my opinion, a very nice, definitive, realistic phase to Captain Rex for a three and a quarter inch collection. Of course, the six inch black series is amazing. Um, but see another paint issue you can see on that armpit. Look, they didn't fully paint the undersuit, but on this side they did. It's just so irritating, the paint quality for Hasbro back in this era. Just just so irritating. Our articulation on this guy is actually pretty solid. Uh, ball joint at the head, ball hinge at the shoulders, ball hinge at the elbow. I believe he has, yeah, he has the hinges at the wrist, but both of them are up and down, which is actually really nice for the pistols. Uh, kind of funny, though, I was talking about how this Rex has really puny hands. This Rex has really massive hands. Uh, just looking at that, look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's just crazy, the size of the hands. But yeah, pretty, pretty solid thing. It moves, it turns, it bends, it moves, it contorts any which way you want. Besides, it doesn't have outward of the legs because it's still from that era of uh, three and a quarter inch superposable where they hadn't fully implemented that on every figure yet. There's been a cat hair on him the whole time. It just does not want to come off. Did I get it? I think I got it. Thank God. One Rex left. 
and it is Rebels Rex. Let's just set him down and talk about it. This video is such a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Yes, I customized mine. Uh, customized mine. Let's put a D on that to make it a little more proper, please. Um, I just added some wash to him. I used, uh, actually, uh, shoe polish to get it, that look. Um, and I used some paint. Or not paint. Some tape. I can't even talk. This video needs to end. Uh, some tape to kind of get the soldering look on the armor there. But yeah, he was just all white. It didn't look any good. It wasn't accurate to the show, so I weathered him up, and I think I did good, and I don't regret doing it one bit. So yeah, it's Rex and his Phase 2 armor. Uh, in the days of the Galactic Civil War, where he's uh, just kind of doing his own thing. Uh, pretty good figure, though. Honestly, I do appreciate it. Um, he, do, he does have removable helmet this time around, and that, that face is just really great for Rebels Rex. Um, it doesn't really like looking down too much just because of the sculpt, but that is that is Rebels Rex, man. That looks really good. I really do appreciate that. Um, the helmet itself, too, is really nice. Uh, kind of funny how they ditched the antenna after a while for Captain Rex, but still, I like the look of it. And I just like his design, and he still has his pistols, and he still looks good, even though he's just 5 POA. Uh, still gonna talk about that. He's just 5 POA. I wish we would get an articulated version of him someday, but you know what? It's it's nice to have this on the shelf, you know? It's nice to just say, hey, look, it's a clone trooper after the Clone Wars. Isn't that so cool and interesting? So, that's it with the Captain Rexes. But, for everyone that stayed till the end, I'm going to show you a bonus figure. This technically is not a Captain Rex, because it was made before the retcon. This is... Oh, yellowed, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's awful. Uh, this is Nick Sant. He is a rebel in a disguise of a scout trooper. Uh, he has very recently been retconned to be Captain Rex. Um, and they kind of hinted at it in Star Wars Rebels, but the Galaxy of Adventure has pretty much said, like, yeah, that's Captain Rex. Um, so that's pretty interesting that they decided to do that. And technically, technically, given the retcon, this is kind of a Captain Rex, but I don't really count it as one, because, I mean, his beard is the wrong color. It's, it's, you know, they didn't make it white. They made it kind of a, you know, kind of a blonde color. Um, interesting, interesting that they ended up making it, though. But, yeah, um, I guess it's Captain Rex. We'll, we'll put him in the group shot just to kind of, you know, as a little bit of a, a teaser, a little bit of an Easter egg, even though he's kind of out of shot here. Let's, let's put him there. Let's put him there. There we go. Anyways, there we go. Every Captain Rex. Gosh, this video was so awful to film. They kept falling. I kept stumbling on my words. But you know what? I did it. I did it, and you guys are watching this video, and you're enjoying it. And I'm just going to end it here. So thank you very much. Special thanks to Ethan yet again for that Captain Rex, the knee bend one. I really appreciate it. Um, there we go. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. as also my P.O. Box address. Have a good day, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Also, uh, shout out to the comic figure blog. Um, I just realized and remembered that he got me this Captain Rex. So thank you, uh, Andrew, as well. Just wanted to give you a shout out. I didn't want to forget you, honey. Love you.